Welcome to Surface Sessions, a brand new series of videos that talks about making music on the Microsoft Surface Pro 3. We'll also be tackling any other desktop multi-touch software that's relevant to music production. We've started a blog over at surfaceproaudio.com, so sign up over there if you want to stay updated. And also subscribe to this YouTube channel, sponsored and hosted by Multi Music Technology, uh, the greatest builders of audio PCs on the planet. I need a new laptop. I've got some gigs coming up over the next year, so I need a performance platform, but I also need something that I can use uh, to fiddle with music that's outside of my usual uh, dedicated studio area. And I'm also reliably informed that I can no longer borrow my wife's laptop. We're a couple of days away from the UK release of the Microsoft Surface Pro 3 on the 28th of August. And in this, our first Surface session, I wanted to talk about the reasons why I'm choosing a Surface Pro 3 over some of the more obvious candidates from people like Apple. I know lots of people who perform using a MacBook of some description, and they are decent, well-made computers and perfectly suited to the task. On the PC side, unless you buy you know, a really good audio specific laptop from someone like say Molten Music Technology, then they can be a little bit crappy and they can uh, vary enormously in terms of quality, in terms of reliability and suitability for the job. The Surface Pro 3 radiates an aura of being a decent, well-made computer. So the dismissive PCs are a bit crap doesn't really work here. In a direct comparison, the Surface Pro 3 has similarities to both the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro. The Surface is architecturally similar to the MacBook Air, but you get a faster processor and a much better screen on the Surface. The Air only goes up to an i5 and 4 gigs of RAM, whereas the Surface can do i7 and 8 gigs of RAM. The MacBook Pro with Retina display has a more comparable screen and it wins out on processor speed, but for an i7 processor, you have to opt for the 15 inch version and at two and a half times the weight, it's fast moving away from being remotely similar. So the Surface Pro 3 sits somewhere between the MacBook Air and the MacBook Pro and has no problem in holding its own in terms of build quality, specs, and pricing. And I don't think you've ever been able to say that about a Windows laptop before. We shouldn't forget that Apple do throw in a free keyboard and trackpad, but Microsoft also throw in a 10 point multi-touch screen and a digitized pen. On the OS side, I'm obviously a fan of Windows. I really like 8.1 and I'm actually quite excited about the prospects of Windows 9. I have nothing against OS X, but actually when you're running creative software, then the OS is largely irrelevant. One obvious factor, and for me it's what makes the Surface Pro 3 the most interesting choice, is the fact that it's a bleeding tablet. In live performance there's nothing worse than trying to locate the mouse pointer with a, with a trackpad, or, or with a mouse for that matter. Uh, whereas, because it's a tablet, I can just touch the screen, I can trigger events, I can immediately edit parameters with my finger. And that's just fabulous. And it's not like running an underpowered iPad with a couple of sort of cute music apps. This is a fully fledged desktop computer that can run Ableton Live, it can run Pro Tools, it can run Native Instruments Machine. I can run whatever software I like on it. You know, it has all the advantages of the iPad and none of the limitations. The final question then is which model? Well, forget the i3. It's only got 64 gigs of uh, drive space and that's nowhere near enough for all my software or my library and that kind of thing. So um, let's look at the 128 Intel i5, four gigs of RAM. Uh, at 849, the price is pretty good. 128 gigs of, uh, of drive space is enough. Uh, the processing power is fine. It's kind of the, the sweet spot really of the Surface Pro 3 in terms of price and performance, but that four gigs of RAM will just, it just, it just gives me a bit of doubt. And I think if I went for that one, I would always be slightly unhappy that I didn't have the eight gigs of RAM of the next version. So moving up to, uh, to option number three, which gives you 256 gigs of SSD drive, which is plenty. Uh, that's loads and loads of headroom. 
and then you get your eight gigs of RAM with the same processor. And that I think is really the one that I want and the only one I'll actually be happy with. So although it completely destroys my budget, um, I think that's probably going to be the one right there. The i7 doesn't really interest me. The reason being that it's probably going to run quite hot, which means it will probably be quite noisy. And I don't think I actually need that much power. I've been performing on a laptop that has an i3 processor for the last couple of years, and I'm completely happy with that. So an i5 is going to be a really decent upgrade to that. And an i7 is probably unnecessary. And the budget limitations again, it's just skyrockets as soon as you choose the i7 processor. So that's too far for me, I think for me, the option number three, the i5, the eight gigs of RAM, 256 gig SSD drive is the one that I want. So uh, all I need to do is, is press the, the, the scary pre-order now button. So here we are, we're going for it and the journey begins. Annoyingly, the delivery day for the Surface Pro 3 is on Thursday and we're actually away camping for the whole weekend so so i'm not going to have the opportunity to do that release day sort of bizarre unboxing video that people like to do but bear with us in the weeks uh, the months to follow uh, i'll be documenting and blogging about all my experiences with the surface pro 3 i'll be running as much software through it as i can pulling out what performance elements are interesting and talking about whatever we can find which is cool about this little box of uh, box of bits and i think it's going to be a very interesting journey. So subscribe to us here, um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, uh, follow us on Modern Music Technology, uh, follow us on the surfaceproaudio.com blog, and let's see where we get to. And it's really raining now.